today is 26th. Leo hii ni tarehe 26. 26th of July. Tarehe 26 July. The year 2020. Mwaka 2020. The Lord has spoken with me this past night. Bwana amenena pamoja nami usiku huu uliopita. And I see a lot of missiles. Na ninaona makombora mengi kabisa. I don't know how many thousands of missiles fired. Sijui ni maelfu ya makombora mangapi ambayo yanalipuliwa. And they are fired towards Israel. Na inalipuliwa kuelekea Israeli. And then I also see aircrafts, a lot of aircrafts. Na pia ninaona ndege nyingi kabisa. Iranian aircrafts. Ndege za Irania. And also Iranian plus Syrian missiles. Thousands and thousands of missiles fired at Israel. Na pia ninaona makombora ya Irania na pia ya washuri ikilipua kukwelekea katika wa Israeli. Again this past night. Tena usiku huu uliopita. The Lord did take me to Israel. Bwana alinipeleka Israeli. And he showed me a lot of missiles. A lot of missiles coming like fire. They are red. They will be red in color. Na alinionesha makombora mengi mengi kabisa ya kija kama moto yatakuwa mekundu katika rangi yake. Fire towards Israel. Ikilipuliwa kuelekea Israeli. It was unbelievable. Ilikuwa ya kutoa minika. And then a lot of aircrafts. Then the voice of the Lord said, look, even a lot of aircrafts. Halafu ndege nyingi kabisa, halafu sauti ya buwana ikaseme ya kwa mba tazama. A lot of aircrafts entering there. Ndege nyingi kabisa zina ingia huko. To strike Israel. Ili kulipua Israeli. So we are sitting on the verge of a major war on the earth. Hivyo tumeka katikati ya ukingo vita vikali kabisa duniani. This is going to be a historic war. Hivi vinaenda kwa vita vya kihistoria. I know that I've been announcing the war, the Iran nuclear war since 2005. Ninajua ya kwamba nimekuwa ni kitangaza vita vya kinuklia vya Iran kwanzia mwaka alfumbili na tano. When two missiles wakati makombora mawili are fired and they hit a nuclear facility by the foot of a mountain in a desert. Yanalipuliwa na kugonga kabisa chombo cha nuklia katika mahali pajangwa. And the fire that comes out of there na moto amba unatoka pale is unbelievable. The earth has never seen that type of fire. And so this is a prophecy I'm giving on this 26th day. The month of July. Mwezi wa July. The year 2020. The Lord again took me to Israel. Buwana tena alinipeleka Israeli. And he showed me the danger that is coming to Israel. Na alinionyesha hatari ambayo inakuja kwa Israeli. The Lord took me again there this past night. Buwana tena alinipeleka huko usiku huu uliopita. And he showed me how the Iranians are planning. Na kunionyesha jinsi ambavyo wa Irania wanapanga. This time it will be unbearable. Thousands and thousands of missiles they want to fire towards Israel. Wakati huu itakua. That they will fire. Wakati huu itakua ya kuto aminika kabisa maelfu juu ya maelfu ya makombora ambayo watalipua kuelekea Israeli. It was unbearable. Ilikua ya kuto vumilika kabisa. And then a lot of aircrafts, the Lord drew my attention to the aircrafts, a lot of aircrafts headed there, so many. Alafu ndeke wengi wengi kabisa wakielekea huko, buwana alifanya nilenge kwa hao ndeke wengi kabisa amba walikuwa naelekea huko. Again, let me just put it because I know the Swahili translation has an issue. I saw them headed there, a lot of aircrafts. Niliona ndege nyingi kabisa zikielekea huko. The earth right now is sitting on the verge of a major, major war. Dunia sasa hive limeketi katika ukingo vita vikali sana sana. Of a very serious war. Ya vita vya kumanisha kabisa. That might escalate. Ambavyo vina weza kuongezeka. It will involve Israel. Ita husisha Israeli. And in that war, Israel might use nuclear weapons. Na katika vita hivyo, wenda Israeli watumia vivifa vya kinuklia. It is going to be a serious war the earth has not seen. Ivinenda kwa vita vya kumanisha kabisa ambavyo dunia haijawai kuona. This past night, Usiku huu uliopita, The Lord again took me to Israel, Buwana tena alinipeleka Israeli, And then I stood there and I saw, As the watchman of Israel, I saw from afar the missiles coming, 
and there are thousands plus a lot of aircrafts a lot of aircrafts coming to strike Halafu kama mlinzi nilisimama pale na nikaona makombora mengi kabisa kabisa pamoja na ndege nyingi kabisa zikija kulipua to attack Israel ili kushambulia Israeli and Israel must win that war na Israeli lazima washinde hivyo vita and in that dream na katika hiyo ndoto i took my position nilichukua sehemu yangu and i declared na nikamrisha before the lord mbele za bwana that israel must win this war ya kwamba lazima israeli washinde hivi vita so there is going to be a battle but israel must win kwa hivyo kunaenda kuwepo na vita lakini israeli lazima washinde because the lord has declared kwa sababu bwana ametangaza thank you asanteni